Well, if you thought that Creality ended the Creality End of 5, after several years, they are back with another Creality End of 5, the Max. Well, let's talk all about it in Zack React, right here. Hey, Zack here, and welcome to this video. I already talked with Zora at Forum Next last year about the Creality End of 5 Max, but then I didn't have all the juicy details about this 3D printer. I think it was 2022 that the Creality launched the last Ender 5, but now after several years and also clipper, faster printers and also bigger volume, what the, what can we expect of this new 3D printer? It's advertised with maximize your productivity. Let's see what I think about the features. And so this is the Creality Ender 5 Max. Maximize your productivity. What is it? Basically, if you think about it, you can use every si a single 3D printer that, that is out there for running a print farm. I know several people or a, a lot of print farms using the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini as an additional printer for the print farm. Basically, every single 3D printer that's out there, also Creality Ender 3, can be used in a print farm. But do you want to take the maximum out of a 3D printer? You have to go or bigger or faster or more convenient that you don't have to babysit your 3D printer every single time because waiting is losing money as a business. And nowadays, more printers that are out there are running a Core XY system and have this clipper based system running sprint speeds way faster. But does this Creality Ender 5 has it as well? Well, let's see which kind of features that are going to make or break this Creality Ender 5 Max because they have advertised with maximize your productivity. And what does it do that? With speed and with some reliabilities. A pro level print quality, rigid all metal frame and a 36 point auto bed leveling. So it does do an auto bed leveling. So that's great. Ultra fast printing, 700 millimeters per second industry leading speed for a Core XY printer. So this is a Core XY 3D printer, which the other versions of the Creality and the 5, as far as I know, were just a Cartesian style 3D printer. Running a Core XY system makes this 3D printer way faster. Enormous built volume. So a 400 millimeter cubed size to print bigger or more. But just a little side note, the more parts you put on a build plate, the longer the print time will be. Tailored for a print farm. So we have three different kind of lights, a multi-printer management via VLAN Wi-Fi, as we say it here in the Netherlands, a tri-color indicator light. Further down, we will see which those lights mean, but I think like green, I'm ready, I'm done, sort of kind of thing, or everything is running as it's supposed to. Amber means like, hey, I'm heating up, stuff like that. And red is like, hey, that there's an error going on, something like that. Optional enclosure, so you can enclose this 3D printer. So this is a fully open, non-enclosure 3D printer, but there is an option to buy the panels in order to make this a enclosed 3D printer. Higher ambient temperature for engineering filaments. It's not a bad thing to have the option to enclose this 3D printer or have it fully open. I would say like add this enclosure already to the printer and let the customer decide to take the panels off or leave it all on, on the printer. Bank on max print quality. Superior print quality. I wouldn't say that the image on the right hand side is looking terrible, but it's also depending on which kind of slicer you are using. It can be multiple factors. It doesn't have to be mainly because of the printer. So on the left hand side, we see a nice, nice print from the N5 Max. Excellent starting from the first time. It's, it's basically what you see with a lot of 3D printer brands nowadays are advertising perfect first layer every single time. And a print can make or break if it is not laying down the first layer perfectly and an auto Z offset. Beefy frame and precise linear rails. Do we have everywhere linear rails or is it only on the X axis? Personally, I would li like to see some linear rails for the X and for the Y axis running a Core XY system. Doesn't have to be bad, but like they meant, they, they say it themselves, that slides smoothly without deviation. Why only leave it to the X axis and not X and Y axis? Uh, further, more strength for dual Z axis motors. The print bed is big, like 400 times 400. So it weighs also more because of the aluminum heated bed. So you want to make sure to have uh, some, some beefy motors. As far as I've seen, uh, two stepper motors for the Z axis and four thick smooth rods. 
making sure that this whole z-axis is very stable uh, they say here also together they can effortlessly carry a model of 10 kilograms with an asterisk but it is so small so small that i can barely read what it say but like you know the Creality lab uh, provided this data something like that did you catch that it can carry a model up to 10 kilos on the build plate 10 kilos let that sink in that are 10 spools of one kilo of filament i don't know about you but if i print one full spool of filament it, it, it can happen that you are printing a model that's so large that you have to swap one time a spool of filament but 10 kilograms of filament i know that are two kilo spools like swapping five times in uh, in between the print or maybe four times you know 10 kilo model that's quite a lot but you know it's with an asterisk it's like we tested it in our environment so i think you need to take it with a grain of salt which is not 10 kilograms but could be still massive and that's not included the build plate itself yeah Wide range of operating temperatures. Yeah, well, it's a non-enclosed 3D printer. But what do they say here? The NF5 Max uh, provides stable performance at temperature ranging from 5 to 40 degrees Celsius. Which kind of temperature do they mean? For the heated bed? For the environment? The area where this printer is standing? Or for the hot end? Because further, it says, and the hot end stays clock free. Yeah, so this 5 to 40 degrees C, do they mean the bed temperature? Do they mean the hot end temperature or do they mean the ambient temperature inside of the not enclosed printer? What do they exactly mean here? Because the whole thing is mentioned won't be interrupted in fluctuating harsh temperatures and the tool head stays clock free. So I don't really understand or know what they exactly mean with those wide range of operating temperatures. I think personally about the ambient temperature inside of, of the non-enclosed 3D printer. Exploit max efficiency. So 500 millimeters per second for a typical speed for quality. 700 uh, millimeters per second for maximum. Okay, okay, this is going to be interesting. 20,000 millimeters per second square maximum acceleration. These are the ranges of a normal clipper based 3D printer. This is interesting. And then there is here a long line. I cannot, I cannot see what it says. Expanded capacity to gain much more. Yeah, normal is 400 times 400 times 400 millimeter build. Volume of the NR5 Max is rarely seen in today's professional bed droppers. Yeah, they have to be very careful to choose which kind of words that they are using in this type of advertisement. Because we also have from Alago a printer with a 400 times 400 times 400 printing volume. So whether you are printing small parts in batches or creating a huge model in one piece. And the 5 Max is a no-brainer for its industry level print volume. A thousand watt heated bed heats up rapidly. Oh my gosh, there goes the energy bill. <laughs> and here we have this thing again. The embedded 1000 what heater can heat the aluminum alloy heat bed up to 80 degrees C. Maximum is at 100 C degrees in just 200 seconds. In 200 seconds. So in three minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah. So less than four minutes of heat up time. And they always say like heat bed efficiency, quality and a five max, 200 seconds and other and like uh, almost 700 seconds that means like more than 10 minutes all new epoxy build plate it's basically the same kind of build plate that you find on your creality k1 very smooth very nice tailor made for print farms just like mentioned and also this is advertised for print farms a nice render here with a guy sitting and printing a lot of sprockets for a customer i guess manage multiple printers on one pc and I think they are going to use like Creality Cloud in order to do this. Okay, so Creality Print in order to use it correctly with their fine-tuned profiles. Status indicator by a three color light. The indicator light visible from a distance up to 10 meters with an asterisk. So in this case, green is uh, meaning running, orange is for standby and red means error. So you need to go look for the printer and see what is going on. Adaptive to input voltage worldwide. Yeah, well, it's basically for all of the Creality 3D printers. It has a power supply unit built in that automatically selects the right voltage. 
a powering features, active input shaping, Wi-Fi connection. So yeah, so I hope that this 3D printer not only comes with Wi-Fi, but also have the option that you can use ethernet cable, the acceleration 20,000 and Wi-Fi, eight gigabyte of storage in the RAM. So if I see the print speeds, some of the features, I would say that this printer runs Clipper. Makes total sense, right? But it, this is this is my take on it. I would say like, this is a nice 3D printer. It's it's a Creality 3D printer. What can you expect? If I see the image, like how the wire is routed and what I also saw last time at Formnex, I hope that Formnex wasn't really a quick job. Like, hey, we set this printer up and we are done. But the cable did seem very loose and, you know, almost like dragging a around the build plate it's something that you don't want i hope this wire when the cable is running from the controller board or from the frame to your uh, tool head isn't too loose that it's stable and not dragging uh, around the printer because last thing you want is that your wire or the wires from the printer is kicking the model over open it's not standard with an uh, enclosure you have to buy it. I would guess that the price of this enclosure would be some somewhere around the 80 year, uh, USD. Could be more, could be less. It's not a bad slinger, so not too bad. And you know, with this kind of build plate, it's going to consume also more power if you are running print jobs. This isn't a average 3D printer for a normal user. If you are printing helmets or bigger projects, of course you can buy this, but this one is really targeted for print farms. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video so that you can scroll over it. And I hope that reality, if you're watching this video, please make the image a little bit bigger so that people can see better. I do have glasses on, but still, some of the texts are very hard to read. This is my take on the Creality Ender 5 Max, a more mature Ender 5 Max. Let's hope and fingers crossed that this printer performs pretty well. I think it does, but time will tell. And also for the people that are receiving this 3D printer for review purpose, I hope you get a nice machine. I do. Hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And that amazing thanks for these amazing patron supporters. You guys are amazing. Thank you.